Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to test the Betaflight GPS Rescue Mode. I have already done this test with Betaflight 3.5, but now I also want to make sure that the GPS Rescue Mode works properly with Betaflight 4.1. For this I have built a small test quad with a GPS module. I'm going to use this quad first before I dare to test the rescue mode with my long range quads. In order to test the GPS rescue mode, I'm first going to activate the rescue mode by a switch. After that, I'm going to switch off my Tyrannus in flight in order to cause a real failsafe. Now we are going to take a quick look at the Betaflight GPS settings. First we need to enable the GPS sensor input for the corresponding UART. Next on the configuration page we need to enable the GPS setting. Finally we need to select the GPS rescue mode for the stage 2 failsafe procedure. Now I'm going to do my first test of the GPS rescue mode. I'm flying away until I have reached a distance of around 300 meters before I'm going to switch my quad into the rescue mode. Mode. The GPS rescue mode worked as expected. My quad turned into the home direction and it's coming back. Now I'm going to switch off the rescue mode in order to get back control. Next I'm going to switch off my Tyrannus in flight in order to cause a real failsafe. And the rescue mode works properly again. My quad is returning home. Now I'm going to switch my Tyrannus back on again in order to get back control. Welcome to Urban TX. If we wouldn't take back control the quad would start descending in order to land automatically. But you better don't expect a soft auto landing. I think it's something between auto landing and crashing. This auto landing scenario could actually be interesting and therefore I'm thinking about testing it next time. Finally I'm going to show you a test of the GPS rescue mode with my 7 inch quad. All in all, I'm feeling confident now to fly further away with my long range quads. Thank you for watching and see you next time.